And welcome, everybody, to Sports on Tap's coverage of the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League's Senior All-Star Draft, the 2024 edition. Uh, my name is Ed Dick, alongside Tim Nichols. Good to be here, Ed. Glad you're here. Tim Nichols, again, of course, from our CBC live stream. He's going to help us out here, give us an assist, uh, as he has over the course of the season. Sean Duffy out on assignment. Jeff Trauman's here. Rob Trauman's here. And Josh Jeffy is also here. We are live at the market in Rocky River. Um, new venue for us here this year. Uh, this is a, what a great great aesthetics. This is an excellent room that we're in. We, uh, we can smell the food. It smells fantastic. Very nice venue here tonight. Glad to be here and looking forward to a nice evening. A good evening. Talking hockey. It's never a bad time to talk about hockey, especially when it's snowing outside. The weather is cooperating. There might be there might be a hockey game busted out in the parking lot later today. We're not. Sure. We'll see how the coaches feel about this. <laughs> uh, but uh, we are here. Uh, you're watching this live on the YouTube channel. Of course, that's at Sports on Tap. Make sure you follow us on Facebook at Sports on Tap on X at SOT underscore uh, podcast. Uh, make sure or SOT podcast. Make sure you follow us on Threads at SOT underscore podcast. Uh, and of course, our website is Sports on Tap Podcast dot com. Uh, we are brought to you by Ray Felton State Farm Insurance. Make sure you check them out at rayfelton.com. Give them a call at 234-284-2996 uh, for, the, uh, for a great quote for your home, life, and auto insurance needs. Uh, RRT Productions, we shoot, we edit, you win. For your best in uh, audio visual needs, make sure you visit him at rrt-productions.com. Hand-built leather goods. Uh, hand-built leather goods, uh, just a fantastic company. Uh, it doesn't get much better when it comes to leather. Uh, anything that's made out of leather, they got you covered. Check them out at handbuiltleather.com. And uh, last and certainly not least, Troutland Entertainment. Uh, for best the, for the best of DJing and entertainment needs, figure, uh, go to Troutland ENT. Uh, send them a note at troutlandent at gmail.com or give them a call at 330-414-4261. I would be remiss. I, I totally forgot the other part of our member, uh, the other member of our crew, No Jacobson. Dr. Hoops, of course, is also out on assignments. Um, He's been, I think he's taken a well deserved rest from all the basketball he's been covering over the, for us over the last few weeks. And he's done a great job at that. Absolutely. I mean, it's, uh, it's really brought a different dimension to our show. So, Noah, uh, again, thanks for your, all your help on that one. But uh, the, enjoy that the, rest ends on Friday for him, though, I hear. Uh, that's what I'm hearing, too. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing, too. Uh, but uh, not tonight, it's all about celebrating the seniors that are going to be playing in the, in, the, uh, in, the, in the All-Star game for the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League. Uh, we have we are going to be using our we're going to be doing the draft tonight, and then uh, the senior all star game will be broadcast live from Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse coming up on Friday, uh, March twenty second. Uh, the first the puck will drop at three thirty p.m. Of course, you'll be able to see all that action live here at Sports on Tap. Uh, we will have four games to bring to you. They will be two ten minute halves that run continuously, uh, so we have a running clock. Uh, they'll be kind of tournament style, so the first two teams will play. The winners will play each other, and then the losers will play each other. So you have uh, everyone gets at least two games out of it. Um, it's going to be four and four hockey with the goalie, so it's going to be extremely open. Lots of open ice at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse every year in the uh, Senior All Star Game. It should be a great event. And we got to thank the Cleveland Monsters for uh, for hosting that event once again. Uh, we can't. Uh, we're very very happy about the about the partnership they have there. Uh, so. Uh, Big props to them as well. Uh, so the way this uh, the way this is going to work tonight, uh, we're doing a draft. So uh, I mean, we, we have uh, Rob Traumans working the board right there. Um, anyone who's part, who's paying attention, uh, it'd be really great to. Uh, we usually have a pretty good back and forth on the chat rooms about uh, who to pick and who they want the coaches to pick, so they can try to team up with each other, uh, even if they don't go to the same school. But a lot of these players have played with each other over the course of the over the course of their careers. By the time you get to be a senior and you finished up your senior season, you pretty much know everyone that is anyone in Northeast Ohio hockey. And so you're right. A lot of the seniors, you'll see it after games. They, they pair up with each other. They know each other. And uh, they're going to get a chance to play with and against each other. Uh, even some of the same teammates uh, will be on opposite teams. Uh, but it'll be a good event on Friday afternoon at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Uh, yeah, it, it's going to be. It's one of our favorite events here at Sports on Tap, uh, and of course, we're, we're we're really happy that uh, Tim's helping us out with this as well. Uh, so we have, we have three coaches uh, that are going to be helping pick today, and let's of course, talk about them, huh? Yes, let's do that. Uh, the first coach will be Rocky River head coach Chris Kogan. He will be choosing for Team A, uh, so he's got the first pick of the draft. Uh, he will be followed by the champion of the Baron Cup Two ter- uh, tournament. Uh, that will be Troy Graw from Strawnsville. Uh, he will be picked. Oh, no, sorry. That, that's third. I, he's I team three. He's, uh, team, team, he's C, team, C. team C. He was, only, he was the last one here, and he got the third slot. 
Um, but again, as the Baron Cup champion, I guess it doesn't start until the Baron Cup champion gets here. That's right. Uh, great season <laughs> for Strongsville. They capped it off of the Baron Cup championship this year, and uh, congratulations to them. We'll talk more with Coach Crawl. Absolutely. Uh, we do have Team a, B. We do have Aurora's Joe Lowry is going to be picking for uh, Team B. And then uh, Sports on Tap is going to pick, uh, as we have the last few years, we are going to pick our own team. And uh, we'll see how, uh, and we, we, don't, we have a, undis, a coach that's yet to be determined, but we hope, we're hopefully uh, we'll hand him a winner. So uh, I did my research earlier today and this week, uh, and we've got to do better than last year is what I hear. Yeah, the sports on tap no team pressure. Looks great on pa- <laughs> it looked great on paper, and uh, it just uh, didn't materialize as you would like to see on the ice, but uh, that's why you play the games. That is why you play the games. <laughs> so it should be a, a lot of fun, as we've mentioned. So a good night tonight ahead of us. Uh, absolutely. Uh, we have uh, – you know, we, we have a little bit of a unique uh, situation here. We'll, we'll get this out in front here. Uh, we do have two goalies that are available for this tournament. So uh, you're going to see two the, the two goalies are going to be on two different teams. So the goalies are going to be playing nonstop. They will play all four games. It's uh, You mentioned it was running clock, two halves, 10 minutes each, so 80 minutes of hockey. Uh, but running clock, so the, the goalies are they're up for it. And, and uh, you know, I, I think these hockey games are slightly more competitive than the uh, NBA All-Star games and the uh, NFL Pro Bowl games that we've seen over the years. I think these kids do have some pride in uh, in what they do when they play. And if you've watched a hockey All-Star game, offense is really uh, paramount. And so the goalies will have a, a tough time, uh, not a tough time, but they'll have a challenge in front of them to keep the puck out of the net. On the other hand, that's what you want to see in a hockey all-star game. You want to see a lot of goals. And so we'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll see that on Friday. Now the save, the save count's going to be quite high for everybody involved. It will be. Uh, everybody involved in these games. Uh, so, uh, again, uh, we, it's going to be a snake draft, so it's going to start with uh, Team A. They will pick first in the uh, they'll pick first in the first round, and then they will pick last in the second round. And then uh, Team D will pick last in the first round. They will pick first in the second round, and that's how it's going to flow, flow throughout the course of the game. And uh, we do have uh, plenty of stats provided to us by Ryan Kelber uh, and, and the rest of the coaches. So uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about all these players uh, that do get picked. And, of course, the coaches will uh, we'll talk about their programs uh, over the course of time as well. So, And we were talking beforehand, uh, mm-hmm. between the two of us, we've seen a lot of these players over the course of the years. So we're looking forward to uh, names that we recognize. And if you've been following Sports on Tap over the years, you'll probably recognize a lot of these names as well, the seniors that will be uh, that have been honored and will get the honor of playing at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse on Friday afternoon. Yeah, and, and with, Tim, with Tim's vast knowledge of, uh, of, of, of the players he has seen, um, and the divisions he's familiar with. I mean, it's a, it's a perfect match for us here uh, to be able to meld our two uh, our two our two broadcasts here. So absolutely. Although um, I, I I said to to uh, your cohorts earlier, it's about time for me to get some sports on tap. Uh, swag, I think I so. Think, I know? think so. Yeah. I mean, I, we got. I think we got. I think we can work that out. No, that should, well, I, think, I think we can work that in the budget for next year. Um, I'm looking at our technical director he's Rob Trump, yes. and he's he's giving us the thumbs up, which is good in many ways. <laughs> so um, I, I think without. Uh, Without further ado here, whenever the coaches are ready, we can get rolling here. It'll be Coach Kogan from Rocky River. We'll have the – oh, Kelber. Oh, yeah, you know, oh, Kelber. uh, Kelber's got got to open the draft up. We have an audible already. Yeah, no kidding. Let's see what – You always got to go to the commish first. Let's see what El Presidente has to say here. There you go, sir. How you doing? Ryan. How you doing? How we doing, guys? Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. Like you guys mentioned on this beautiful hockey weather night. Got that right. Yeah. It's, it's, a per, it's a perfect setting. You can, you can see what's going on outside. This is excellent. This is a fantastic room. Yeah, I'd like to thank Market for, for hosting us tonight and this special evening. And um, I know we got a lot of excited players ready to get drafted. We got some great coaches here, and it's uh, going to be a good weekend of hockey here. Absolutely. Uh, so, Coach uh, uh, Ryan, we talked a little bit about what the format looks like. Uh, we got two ten minute running, two ten minute halves, running uh, running clock, four four v four with the goalie. Uh, goalie's gonna be pulling double duty here. Um, so, I mean, just we, what, what kind of action are you looking for for this uh, for this game? Yeah, I think in the past year we we opened up to the four and four just for a more open game, and just to get more kids involved, and we've had success with it. I mean, most of the coaches here, not all of them, but have had success coaching and get wins. <laughs> Um, with the four and four, like I said, it's, it's a faster game, gets the kids more involved and and allows more opportunity. And, you know, hockey players are such special athletes that most of them play multiple sports. So there is one negative about having the game a little later is you got lacrosse players, you got baseball players, you got track players. So we do lose 
some of the original names that we, you know, were invited to play, but that's okay. You know, we still have over 30 that are going to participate on Friday, and uh, we're looking forward to it. And the goalies, yes. With only two goalies, they're going to see a lot of rubber, I think. Yeah, no doubt. I think they will. So, Ryan, talk about the season a little bit, uh, you know, the success of the season, a Barron Cup uh, championship tournament again, and just uh, your thoughts on what went on this past year. Yeah, you know what? The hardest part is always the alignment part. And once, once we get that settled, you know, in the spring, the season goes by pretty smooth. And, and um, I think the Baron Cup can tell you the parity we had in our league. Because, you know, looking out there, we had a Strongsville win, which I think was a four seed. And we had a Benedictine win, which was maybe a three seed. Um, so that, that explains the parity right there. And we had some division winners in blue that only had, uh, I think, eight guys. And uh, it was pr pretty competitive. I think Normandy won the blue, and Normandy had 23 kids. And that's really unusual for a blue team, but, you know, with uh, Parma Senior High closing, they kind of got those extra kids here. But it was a great great year, a lot of parity, and that's all we can ask for. I think that's what makes our league special is if you know you're going to have a down year or numbers are low, we can move you around the best we can so it's competitive for everyone. Yeah. When you think about it, too, you had, you had a, a repeat winner in Benedict and Normandy won their second in three years, and Strongsville wins their first, wins their first in program history. Uh, so just to speak to the parody that you, that you were talking about there. Yeah, it, it was special. And I think, you know, we're used to seeing those first-round games in the Baron Cup or maybe it gets the running time. I think we only had one running, running clock game. Uh, we had some good first-round games, some great second-round games, obviously some great championships and some, some uh, underdogs that won. And, and that just says a lot about the league, the parody, and, and the coaching and the players all. Yeah, and we're looking forward to talking about uh, you know, some of the some of the seniors that are participating here. Um, who do you, who do we have here helping us out tonight? Uh, well, we have some three excellent coaches in the house. House we have Joe Laurie from from Aurora, um, Baron Cup winner Troy Grawl from Strongsville, and our regular. Our uh, highest winning percentage All Star coach Chris Kogan in the house too tonight. No pressure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And of course, uh, the Sports on Tap crew is uh, probably. We're going to give this another go and uh, see how that turns out for us. <laughs> you know, it's, it's been a great year, and, <laughs> and I think I speak on behalf of all the coaches and the players and the schools to say thank you, Sports on Tap, for everything you guys do. Uh, Tim, we appreciate everything uh, CVCA Stream does. It, it's awesome. It's one of the sports where there's there's great coverage, and that's because of you guys. And you know, I, there isn't a, a coach or a player I don't see once in a while that says. Keep that going with those guys. And uh, so we appreciate that, um, the continued uh, publicity of our sport and our, our young hockey players here. Uh, the, the hockey is second to none. It, it's, it's, it's really competitive. It's, it's, it's really, really fun to watch, um, you know, especially when you see, you see what, what happens on this level and you see what happens on the top level. And it's, you, know, you can see the parallels there. Um, it's, it's, it's a really, really cool thing to watch. It's a, it's a good time, it, uh, and it always has been. So uh, we thank you for your leadership and uh, all the things that you do to make it happen on, a, on an annual basis. Hey, I appreciate that. and It's great to have coverage of, of one of the best sports out there. And um, Before we get started with everything, I, I think as an exciting event this is and an exciting game we have on Friday, it is a sad day for our, the hockey community here. As earlier this morning, um, our former Mayfield coach, and Cleveland Heights star uh, Steve Bogus passed away. Um, we did see that. He was a, an active member. You know, he just participated in this, this draft probably like three, four, four years ago. Um, mm. You know, w one thing about this draft is we get together, we honor these players, but we have a lot of laughs. And if there's anybody that wanted a laugh, you know, Steve was able to present a laugh to us while also being, you know, a staple in Northeast hockey. And he will be greatly missed. I know I, I think – Maybe not officially yet, but I heard some services are going to be put out maybe on Friday. And, um, but we, we will miss him. And, and if anything, I could say let's dedicate this game to Steve and, and everything he contributed to, to hockey here. Our hearts go out to him, his family, the Mayfield community, the Cleveland Heights community. Uh, a great loss, and uh, we certainly remember him tonight. All right, thank you, guys. Now, now's the fun part. and Let's get at it. Thank you again. All right. I think, uh, I think uh, our uh, President Day, uh, Ryan Kelber, has opened the draft up. Uh, so we're ready to roll. Whenever uh, Coach Kogan wants to come up and make the first pick, we're going to be ready to roll here. I, think I see uh, some movement, so uh, he's on his way. He is on his way. So Team A is on the clock. Come on over, Coach. Coach, how are we doing tonight? Great. I appreciate you guys having me back uh, with the highest winning percentage. Of course. Well, we, we, couldn't, we couldn't not invite you to this. Uh, with that. Well, thank you very much. 
<laughs> and Coach, uh, before we get to your first pick, on uh, just very briefly talk about the season and and, and, and you know what, what are some of the the major highlights that you that you reached this year? Yeah, we uh, I think we had a good season. Uh, I think a little bit better than what I expected coming out of the you know out of the gate. Um, but we were senior heavy. We had nine seniors this year, so um, you know it's going to hurt losing all those guys. Um, but again, we I think we had a good year. Um, you know, I couldn't ask for much more. Uh, lost three key players towards the end of the towards the end of the year, which didn't help uh, right at the last week there. So that put a little damper into our our plans. But uh, you know, the guys they finished well and 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 had a good year. Well, congratulations for that. Um, certainly, losing nine is going to be tough. But I'm sure you got some to pick here tonight. <laughs> I do. I have a few to pick from, which is great. Um, so my first pick tonight will be my captain. Lucas Updike right. uh, had a great senior year for me and had a great four years uh, playing for the Pirates. So excited to have him for one more game. You've got him for one more game, 16 goals on the season, 15 assists. He certainly knows how to get the puck in the back of the net. Sure. He's, uh, he's nothing but speed and, and power, and he just likes to get to the net. So in a, in a format like this, he should, uh, he should perform well. Yeah, we we had the opportunity of covering you know, multiple of your games over the course of the last few years, and uh, and he was he was one he was one of the players that we we talked a lot about. So we're looking forward to seeing him uh, uh, with you again one more time and uh, being able to talk about him on the on the air again. Great. Yep. Thanks. All right, so you got to go sit for about six picks. We'll see you in a, about seven eight minutes, I think. Sounds good. <laughs> Thanks. Got Coach. some time to ponder that second pick. Congratulations. All right, so uh, Lucas Updike will be the first pick in the 2024 Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League Senior All-Star Game Draft. Say that ten times fast. So um, uh, he, he joins uh, Tori Wessel, who was the first pick last year. That's right. So first pick in the draft. Congratulations to Lucas. You know, we, saw, we saw a lot of Lucas over the last few years uh, at Rocky River, and he we, – we, we, there was a player that he that was a senior last year. His name was Owen Tool, who was very very good for Rocky River. And Lucas kind of fit that kind of fit that mold this year. Um, can really do anything. He can he can settle things on the defensive end, but as you can tell, he can score and he can pass. And really, that's when you have that steady presence. Um, that really really makes you that really really helps you out uh, as a coach, knowing that you can throw him out there on the line and get going. Yeah, I'm sure he'll he'll show that again on Friday. So. But we're ready to move on to pick number two. All right, we have Here's a, Coach Lowry. Aurora Coach Joe Lowry joining us. How you doing tonight, Coach? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? Good. We're good. Thank, uh, welcome back on the show. Um, yeah, uh, thanks. Talk a little bit about your season and some of the highlights that you had. Sure. Yeah, it's great to be back on the show. You guys always do a great job. So we had, we had a great season this year. We come out with, uh, with a lot of wins, come out with a winning season. Great group of kids, great group of parents, keeping our program going, uh, as always. So I was really happy with the results this season. We had a couple, uh, couple all-star seniors that weren't able to make it for the game on Friday, so I'll give them a shout-out while I'm here, even Please. though they're not able to make the game, but uh, certainly deserving of, of a name on the list and a mention. So we had uh, Will Fifner, and then, you know he's the baseball player, so he won't be able to make it Friday, but certainly, uh, certainly deserving, as I said, and I'd love to be able to pick him. And also Mike Phillips, another senior all-star on our team, Fifner with 50 goals on the season, Phillips 20 goals on the season, uh, both both great players, so love to have them on my team. Unfortunately, they're not able to make it, and uh, happy to be part of the event. So honorary well, members of the team this of year. Course, Absolutely. Of course, Why not? Before you get your get your pick, uh, obviously we had a chance to see Will Fifner and and, and your team. I think you went uh, almost undefeated for most of December. You had a great run, and, and oh, yeah. Will, what a shot! One of the hardest shots, probably in all three divisions, uh, oh, yeah. and really uh, a great senior uh, leader uh, on your team. Absolutely. Deceiving, uh, deceiving left-handed shot from the left side of the rink usually, but uh, catch goalies off guard from anywhere with that one. Absolutely. Yeah, so. absolutely. And uh, multi-sport athletes, talk about multi-sport athletes and uh, you know, how that helps perhaps in a, in a hockey environment. Well, there's a lot of other sports that, that tie into it, and uh, this, this year, for the first year, Aurora is going to have a, a lacrosse team, so I'm pretty excited about that too. I think that's going to be a good thing for our hockey team long term. I think that you know, lacrosse and hockey go hand in hand, and, and having a lacrosse program at your school will, will help bring in uh, hockey athletes, lacrosse athletes that want to play hockey both ways. And so I'm really excited about that. I'm hoping to catch some lacrosse games in the spring and go up and see them under the lights. And we've got uh, 
about probably a third of our hockey team playing lacrosse in the spring here, so it's, go uh, Aurora Lacrosse. It's not unusual. To, uh, one of our key defenders is the Fogo at CVCA, and uh, you know, the lacrosse and hockey definitely hand in hand. Absolutely. So congratulations on the start of that program. Yeah, yeah, I think a lot of them. I mean, some of you, you get some football players in there here, maybe right. some crossover wrestlers, maybe some crossover basketball players, uh, sprinters from uh, the track team. It, it, it's great to see multi, multi-season athletes there. Of Good. course, they've got they've got things to to prove left in the spring too. Good, absolutely. All right, so you've got your carte blanche with no, none of your players are able to make it here. So you you got a, you got a pick to make. My uh, my pick is going to be Mr. Troy Cray from Kenston. Did you get a chance to see him a lot uh, this year? Of course you did. Absolutely, in the, right? In the same building at so the we, pond. We see him practicing. We see him playing games. He's a good player. Happy to have him. Troy Cray from Ooh, Kenston. Lots of, lots of points. Absolutely. Uh, of points he might have led Northeast Ohio in points uh, as we get here. 64 goals, 70 assists, and he earned every last one of them. Absolutely. Um, we saw him a couple times ourselves. Uh, great job. Great, great, great first pick. Yep. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Coach. And uh, we'll certainly catch up more about what, uh, what Aurora's got going on. Uh, what Aurora's got going on later in uh, you know, some of their underclassmen and what, what they got going on in the offseason as well, which we will also do the same with uh, Coach Kogan and with uh, Coach Grawl. So with that, Coach Grawl the, uh, of the Baron Cup 2 champion, Strongsville Mustangs, he is on the clock right now. He's uh, looking through his list here to see uh, who he's going to, uh, who he's gonna, who's gonna select. He, he's, he's got does three it. of his own guys to, to ponder. That's right. Let's see if he uh, see if he opts for the Strongsville guys first, and we'll see where it goes. <laughs> see, that's a <laughs> that's he's, a first. He's he's got a candle. He was bringing up. Coach, how does that sound, Baron Cup champion? Uh, it uh, sounds got, really, really good. Yeah. Have you gotten used to it yet? <laughs> uh, I, I, I still have it on my mantle. Absolutely. You, I, I, I don't I got would. it. Are Absolutely. you going to? Do you pass it around the team? I thought about it, but I think someone did that in the years past because it's it's pretty banged up. <laughs> so, uh, but we uh, after after we won the cup, I mean, there was a lot of pictures taken with with the players and coaches and parents, and uh, we definitely enjoyed it. And, and we had uh, our final practice; we had it at the practice, and kids and that were taking pictures with it and all that. So it was a very close group, and. Uh, it was, a, it was a special year for us, yes. Talk about the year. From start to finish, the improvement was just amazing. Yeah. Um, we had one of our, uh, one of our uh, sophomores out uh, for first, first preseason game um, up, in, uh, up in Toledo. Um, he, Christian Smith, um, he went down, and he didn't basically come back until the Ehrenfeld tournament. So that was sort of a, a, a player that we had in our pocket, you know, when we got, we got to the Baron Cup. Because we did play CVCA in Kenston, um, um, you know, with, without him and that. Um, but uh, so had getting him back just gave us some extra for uh, firepower and all that. But yeah, we just put it up. We just put it put it together um, when he came to, when it when it mattered and when it mattered the most. So uh, the first part of the season was pretty rough. We played a couple tough tournaments. We always enter the Shaker tournament. It's always a challenge to play a, right. a number of the Red Division teams, and that, and it just toughens, toughens us, toughens us up in that. Um, and then we, when we got to after the first, after the uh, after the first of the year, uh, we kind of went on a, I don't know, nine ten game. You had goal. a you had a game at the pond, I think, uh, an overtime game against Kenston. Yeah, um, and it seemed like while it didn't go your way, it set the tone for the rest of the season. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, it's 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 always tough going there because they get that Friday night late nine o'clock ice ice slot, and that. So it's always you know you're traveling there on Friday. You know the kids have school and that, and um, so it's always tough to you know to, to go away that you know that late at night. Um, but yeah, I mean uh, we were right in it and that, and obviously with um, um, the the uh, Troy just being picked, yeah. I mean. Yeah, I mean, he just <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard to stop that guy, you know. But you showed, I think, in that game that you could play with the likes of CBCA, you could play with the likes of Kenston. Yeah. Um, and it, I think it really propelled you into that Baron Cup, and you know what a great job your yeah, kids no, did. Yeah, no, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, we uh, yeah, the kids played their hearts out. Um, yeah. yeah, we were actually the fifth seed going in. 
and uh, you know had a knockoff CVCA, you know, for starters, you know. And Third period comeback. I mean, you guys, you dug deep. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, um, yeah, it, it, uh, yeah. It was just uh, the ki- yeah, the kids. They just dug down deep. I mean, I, I, I'm there. It was there was a lot of emotion. Well, I can still see the smile on your face, you know, uh, as uh, uh, one who has been on the side of who has won it before, not certainly myself, but the, the, the Royals program, we know what that's like, and I just am so yeah. happy for you yeah. and for your kids and your program to, to get over that mountain yeah. um, and, and to win it. that yeah. and, and really enjoy the whole off season. It starts again next year, yeah. but yeah. Uh, that trophy is yours for a year, and it will n- yep. the memory will never go away. Yes, yes. Yeah, it won't it won't go away for sure. So. <laughs> All right, coach, who uh, who who you starting off with here? Um, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go with my uh, one of my co captains, uh, senior Brett Kappel. Uh, 36 goals, 40 assists. I think is what his stats throw around the sheet. He did break our single season all time scoring record um, in goals and assists uh, this year, and. Um, uh, was uh, first team all, all honors in that, and uh, um, so I'm gonna be uh, very happy to be get a chance to uh, to be able to get a chance to coach him from from one more game and make some more memories. Very Absolutely, good. great player, fantastic uh, pick, and again, congratulations on an outstanding thanks season. All right, see you well, in we'll a few see minutes. you in a few minutes. That's right, that's You're, right. We're not done with you by a long shot. That was uh, Coach Grawl. He's in, he'll be back here up here in, in short order here. Again, the, the coach of the Baron Cup 2 champion, Strongsville Mustangs. Again, a, a tremendous run that they made through the postseason. They and, did. Um, and, uh, just a great season. It, it's, it's what you want to see as a coach. Your, your team improved from start to finish. He talked about the you know, Christian who he had in the back pocket, and they put it all together. Just a great job by Strongsville. But right. here we are. All a right. couple of picks. Two picks here, uh, Josh. Yes, I just want to uh, say that Team SOT um, – we're actually team redemption. Last year, I thought we drafted a, a really good team. Uh, it just didn't work out. So this year, we're going to come back uh, with the uh, fourth pick. Yep. Uh, in the first round, uh, uh, team SOT or team D, whatever you guys are calling it, team redemption in my book. Mm. It's going to be uh, Austin Andrews from Menor. I like that pick. I really yeah, like that. Coming pick. in with a, a strong season. Twenty-six goals, forty-one assists. This uh, w- was a really, really good presence. Uh, you know, I think he was their captain as well. And we, we saw in their furious comeback against Benedict, and he almost yeah. like, single-handedly got him back into that game. And for sure. Tremendous. Um, and actually, for the first pick of the second round, uh, we're going to go with uh, Amherst, Justice Owens, um, 36 points on the season. So looking to get some quick scoring on uh, Team Redemption. You're going red, red for well, both we, those. Yep, we're trying to do that. Uh, we're just trying to get the best players for uh, Team Redemption to get the victory. So you got a forward in Justice Owens from Amherst and uh, from mentor Austin Andrews. You can see Justice Owens, 19 goals, 17 assists, a total of 36 points. Um, Amherst, uh, you know, they, they, they played very tough in the Baron Cup. They're always a tough out in the Baron Cup um, since they've moved up to the Red Division. They've been just a very, very good team. Um, you know they they've, they've run into some really hot teams in the tournament. They haven't been able to win that tournament yet, but I, I think just an outstanding program though at Amherst deal. Absolutely. So having graduated Nick Sierra from last year, just a, an all-world player, um, but being able to return someone like Justice Owens uh, and some of the other players they have, uh, you know, just certainly a certainly a good a good program that Coach Morris has there, and obviously Coach Makito with Mentor um, just keeps churning them out. I mean Austin Andrews was fantastic um, from his position and. Uh, we really got to see him excel in the you know, in the Baron Cup tournament. I mean, but it, we, you, I think you're about to I think you're about to allude to this, and I was in, I agree with you on this. Sometimes in the Baron Cup, it's not how it, it's how you, are you hot at that time. Stronsville was hot. They were that tournament. Benedictine got hot going into that tournament. I, right. I was a little worried about what I was agreeing to that I, that I was, <laughs> what I was alluding to that I have no idea. So, but but you're absolutely right. It's you want to get hot at uh, at Baron Cup week, and both those teams did. But both those teams deserving champions. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, Benedictine re- re- repeated that tournament. I mean, they, they hadn't won the Baron Cup since the very first Baron Cup, and they've yeah. won two in two years. And you know, Coach Karras is just. Uh, I mean. With, with the multiple Karrises that have gone through there, that have yeah. played there, um, uh, they multiple of them now have Baron Cup championships. Yep. 
All right, we got another pick coming up. Coach Grawl is back up from Strongsville. Hey, good seeing you guys again. Hey. <laughs> Long time no see. Yeah. yeah Welcome back. Yeah. What do we got? Thanks, thanks again. What do we got? Um, well, I'm going to go with my other co-captain, senior Will Grozen. Um, Will, uh, uh, he's labeled as a defenseman, but uh, he's the most offensive defenseman that we ever had at Strongsville High School. He, as a defenseman, um, basically – not only did he break the defensive um, single-season records of goals and assists, but he is our all-time uh, leading defensive defensive scorer in the program of 23 years. So, um, yeah, he uh, in that uh, in both in both semifinal and Baron Cup championship, I believe um, he never left the ice in the third period. He was out there a lot. Uh, number uh, number 12. <laughs> So, Coach, I, I remember doing the championship, well, doing both the semifinal and the championship game. Right. Um, and uh, actually questioning on the air, where's Will? Where's Will? And I realized, you know, that Will was right where he needed to be. You had him on focused on defense. You see, he's such a good offensive defenseman. Yes. But uh, just played outstanding hockey in that tournament and all year long right. um, for you. Um, just another great player, another great pick. Yeah, the uh, I mean, with the with the uh, with the offensive power that CVC and Kenston was bringing, um, or I knew they were going to bring. Uh, yeah, Will, I had a, I had a, I had to restrain him. He wanted to take <laughs> off, but uh, yeah, my um, my uh, my my son uh, um, J, J, JT uh, joined our program, uh, coaching with me. This is his third year, and he runs my defense, and uh, and basically uh, he he said. He put Will on the ice, and he said if Will came off, he put a guy out. If Will didn't come off the ice, he basically just rotated two other guys. So, um, yeah, so uh, it's going to be fun having my two co-captain seniors with me for one last time. So uh, I'm sure I'm a little bit of an emotional guy. I'm sure there's going to be some tears. I'm sure there will. <laughs> but congratulations right. to you again. Congratulations to Will. Second pick. We're good. It and as you mentioned, I mean, Will grows, and we've seen him a few times our, uh, at Sports on Tap here as well. And he's one of those guys that, I mean, is is just he's all over the ice. And the fact that you have a Swiss Army knife there that says we need to keep him to play defense, and yeah. you know, and you know, you have a reliable uh, backstop. Yeah. It, it's, it's a fantastic weapon to have. It is. I, I'm expecting offense out of him on on Friday, though. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. All, right, all coach. right, coach. Welcome back. Yes. Good to see you again. For my, uh, my second selection here, I'm going to go with Mr. Alexander Rezebka. And I apologize if I said his name wrong there. Didn't get a chance to see him through the season, but uh, I'm exciting, uh, expecting exciting things. That is, a, uh, that is an excellent pick, having uh, seen them in the Baron Cup Championships. That is, uh, I think you did, you, did, you did pretty good with that one. Yep. <laughs> That's just, Benedictine. Just, just highlights and uh, exciting moments for me, so I'm sure that will be a good addition. Very good. Uh, Coach, yeah, excellent choice there. And, uh, so as we uh, we'll continue to we'll continue to talk about the program as uh, as we continue with these picks here, sure, uh, for sure. So, um, and we'll see you back up here in real short order. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. All right, Coach Kogan. He's got two picks coming up. He's going to finish the second round and go to the third round. Um, again, the um, the Baron Cup champions here. Uh, Baron Cup one. Benedictine repeated as the champions. They defeated Mentor in Baron Cup one. Uh, Stronsville defeated Kenston to win their first ever Baron Cup championship, and Normandy defeated Westlake for their fifth title overall and their second in three years. Coach Kogan, he has got two picks coming up. All right, here we go. So my Let's second pick tonight is going to be my defenseman, Jacob Jackson, and I will, uh, I guess, have you guys on watch because, as Troy just said, for his guy, is listed as a defenseman, so is Jacob with – a ton of offensive explosion. Um, Jacob had multiple game-winning goals for us, uh, rushing the puck up late in games this year. Um, just had a great senior year for us, so he'll be my second pick tonight. Well, congratulations again on that pick, going uh, with the hometown talent. And um, should be exciting to coach him once again. Yeah. I know you got, you're going to start the third round, too. Who are you going to take with, the th with your third pick? So in the third round, I'm going to take another one. Of no. You know what? It's a forward. It's going to be A.J. Ritvo. So A.J. Uh, had a great senior year for us as well. Um, sneaky, quick release on his uh, shot. So looking for uh, some big goals for him in this tournament. So we got Rocky River, one, two, three on Team A. 
Got to stick no with the guys. No surprise. That's right. Stay, in, That's stay right. with your guys. You parents, go. parents are happy right now. <laughs> so are the players, I think. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So talk about AJ. <laughs> well, again, AJ had a great year for us. Um, he had some big goals uh, late in games for us that, uh, you know, really helped out. And like I said, he's got, he's got a lot of speed, and then he's got a very sneaky uh, quick release on his shot. So never know when he's going to shoot. So it's, uh, it's always fun to watch him. Well, we're looking forward to watching them on Friday afternoon at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Great. Thank right. you. We'll see you in a little bit for two more picks. And Coach Kogan's in, uh, he's, he's, he's in the uh, snake world now where he's going to get two picks going forward. Um, he's going to wait a little bit here. Uh, Coach uh, Lowry's going to come back up here for his next pick whenever he's ready. And uh, you know, Rocky River, we had the, we, we've seen the Rocky River mentor games the last few years, and those have been just fantastic ga- ways to start our season uh, with those. All right, Coach Lowry, he's got his third pick coming up. Who are we going with? Third pick, we're going to go with Mr. Ben Trombetto. There we go. Yep. Keeping the Benny boys together. Keeping them together. Listed as a defenseman. Uh, looks like he's going to add some defense to our to our team here. So not sure what color we're going to be yet, but uh, I think it's going to be a good addition. I could well, not agree more. <laughs> with Kenston and Benedictine, I'm going to go with blue. So yeah, no there doubt. may be a different color, but you're you're certainly picking the blue. It's a good the blue start teams. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Very good, coach. Excellent pick. Thank you. So Ben Trombetto, one of the uh, one of the stalwarts for Benedictine over the last few seasons, and uh, leading leading the defensive but, or defensive offensive players, if you want to call it that. I he mean, can play both ways. He doesn't. You know the the stats. You know eight goals, thirteen assists. Uh, but when he decides to push the puck up and when he gets those goals and when he gets those assists, it's at the most opportune of times. Um, he picks his spots, and when he picks them, he usually, he usually succeeds. Well, we look forward to seeing him play on a Friday. All right, we see Coach Rawl coming back up. All right, Coach, you got your third pick coming up here. Who are you, uh, who are you bringing back? Who are you going to have here? Yeah, I'm going to keep my teammates together here. Perfect. Um, I'm going to take Michael Galchek. Um Michael, uh, first three years, uh, actually his freshman year, uh, he was uh, he was just a rollerblader. Um, didn't start playing hockey until his freshman year, so it's been it's been a joy for four years watching him grow. And this year, we asked him to move from forward to sure up some some def- defensive responsibilities. And he played with uh, he played with Will a lot this year, and that so I'm going to have those two together on the ice. Um, but, uh, um, yeah, Michael was uh, just a, a, a good role player to have, and it was a joy just just watching him um, develop over these years. So um, I get to coach my three seniors. I had one other senior, Jackson Niedemeyer, um, who, who uh, skated with Brett Kappel all year long. Unfortunately, multi, um, he, he's also unable to make um, the, the game on Friday. And that, or um, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna st- start off with my three strong old guys, and and then I'm gonna add some uh, some some complimentary pieces to go with it. All so, right, it's, it's quite the guys. quite the foundation you got there. When you uh, if you if, if I was him, I'd, I'd do the same thing. You bring bring back three players from your Baron Cup two championship team and build around that. That's uh, a uh, he's off to a good start. We'll, we'll save that much for him. Absolutely. All right, uh, Team SOT, uh, the Team Redemption, if you will. Team Redemption, I'll, I'll make sure I say Redemption because Josh wants to make it a thing. So he, let's see what he comes up with. He's got two picks. He's going to finish round three and start round four. All so right, Josh, sir. you went Austin Andrews and Justice Owens, your first Correct. two picks. And we're going to go down to um, the Blue Division. We're going to go with the Baron Cup three champions, the Normandy, Inv- Normandy Invaders. We're going to go with both. Uh, players from Normandy, uh, Derek Pierce and Wylan Hill. Um, those are going to be the picks for uh, the redemption team. Um, you know, if, if you win a championship, you had a good season. And I'm going to take the two uh, seniors from that team that are a- able to play in this game. Uh, I can't do much better than that. Derek Pierce, uh, an outstanding player for Normandy, the Invaders, um, can put the puck in the back of the net. And, and Wylan Hill, uh, defenseman, um, who manned that blue line for at least three of the last four years uh, for Normandy, won a couple of Baron Cups as they won, uh, I think, two, uh, well, now three years, or three seasons ago. And obviously this year, you know, a great program at Normandy and um, a couple of good picks. And, and you mentioned Coach Kel- and Kelber, uh, Ryan Kelber mentioned this earlier. I mean, you know, 
a 20, 23 players in a blue division team is not the norm. Um, but having having Parma, uh, what, what happened with Parma, I mean, it, it, they had to go somewhere, and a lot of yeah. them, I think a lot of them stayed in town. So, yeah, so Coach Gaudino, uh, the legendary coach at Parma, who was here a year ago mm-hmm. uh, coaching one of these teams, uh, the Parma uh, school board shut down Parma High School and consolidated. So a lot of those players ended up on the bench um, at Normandy. But these two guys are, are Normandy guys. Um, and mm-hmm. the the culture coming together, nothing brings culture together like winning the Parent Cup. <laughs> right, uh, <laughs> two out of the last three years. But I think, uh, you know, to have 23 skaters uh, on the ice at practice, it just gives that extra um, – uh, ability, not ability, but the extra opportunity, that's the word I'm looking for, uh, to, to skate, um, to, to improve, and we saw that over the course of the year. Uh, Normandy did not take over first place in their division until the last Sunday of the season. They played Westlake in a, a, a close game right down to the finish, uh, and those two teams met up in the Baron Cup final, no surprise. Uh, but uh, Derek Pierce and Wylan Hill... On Team SOT, Team Redemption. Congratulations. Derek Pierce with 31 goals, 21 assists, a total of 52 points. Told you you could put it in the back of the net. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, with Wyland Hill, I mean, tough defenseman. You, you always you, you need that. In a, in, a, in a game where there's not going to be a whole lot of defense, uh, if you got someone back there who can play a semblance of defense, um, why not have one of the best? Absolutely. Uh, Good. Coach, All right. Coach Grawl has the next pick. He'll be looking for his fourth pick. He... He did take up all the Strongsville guys, so here come the complimentary parts. I think is what he said. That's right. That's right. We'll see where it, see where he goes. Here he's on his way up right now. It's a little dark in here as the sun has gone down. I can see the the candles on the table, the the votives, and he's got a votive on the, <laughs> above his roster. All right, Coach. Welcome back. All right, all right. who are we, who are we taking? I'm gonna uh, go with. Um Another weight division player on, that was on the uh, on the west on the on the west side of the bracket, Brad Sims from uh, from Kent. All right, Brad uh, Sims from Kent. He had a great season this year, uh, and has really developed as a great player uh, for the Roosevelt hockey team. Right. Yeah, Brad Sims. Uh, I, you know, I probably was their their top player this season. Um, they had a young team a year ago that went to the blue final against CVCA. Mm. They moved up into the white division, and Brad Sims did not miss a beat this season at all. Yeah, yeah I've, had, uh, I've had some uh, um, games uh, um, over the last couple of years with Brad Edwards and uh, got to see him play against us a couple of times and uh, got to awesome watch him, uh, you know, a um, few, few other games and all that. And uh, uh, he'll he'll compliment my uh, first four guys out of out of the box uh, come Friday. So there you go. Very yeah. good. Well, Welcome congr- to the team, Brad. Brad All Sims right. joining the Strongsville folk, and uh, and uh, as part of Team C, uh, as you mentioned, I mean uh, I mean Kent had such a great run through the Baron Cup championships. They played in the first round, if I'm not mistaken, to uh, qualify a year ago in the in last the Blue year. Division. Yes, and made that run right to the final. Um, and then, uh, you know, obviously moved up this year, acquitted themselves very well in the White South Division. And Brad had, uh, I think, uh, if I can see my notes, 12 goals, 23 assists, 34 points this season. And as we mentioned, uh, didn't miss a beat at all. Uh, it'll be a pleasure to call him uh, on that first line with the three Strongsville players um, on Friday afternoon. All right, Coach Lowry comes back. Yeah, absolutely. All right, fourth pick, who do you got? We, we want to keep the blue jerseys together there and uh, keep our team nice and balanced. We've got a player that's a standout on the stat sheet there. A um, lot of points on the season, a lot of assists on the season. Mr. Tommy Moores. Talk about defensemen. Coach, you saw Tommy Moores play this season. Talk about what you, what you saw from him. Absolutely. Saw him play this season, saw him play over the last couple of years there. Uh, he's a great, great player. Coach's son. Solid defenseman. Coach's son at Kenston. Solid defenseman. Good playmaker. And, and he knows how to find the net himself. Yeah, I mean, he, the stats, uh, stats don't lie about that. No yeah. doubt. He's, he, li- he, he likes to pass the puck. Probably more, more importantly, too. With, uh, he's got 42 assists to 12 goals. I mean, the, the, the amount of points for the defenseman is just astounding. Uh, they had a couple of, uh, well, one of them, Troy Cray, a couple of scores. They get another one. Uh, on that team, but Tommy, outstanding defenseman again. As I mentioned, coach's son knows to, right where he needs to be at all times on the ice and a, a leader. Um, you know, coach Tom, the coach uh, involved there and you know, involved in youth hockey for years. Oh, yeah. I think you've made a great pick there in, in Tommy Moore's. Yep. Uh, pick number four, and you know, as you said, stay in blue. Be on, be on the lookout for some highlights from Mr. Tommy. There we all go. right, congratulations, Tommy Moore's the fourth pick for Team B. 
So he's got two Benedictine guys, and he's got two Kenston guys. And I think then, uh, uh, he scouted well. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He could, he could do a lot worse than them. Um, That's right. So All we have, right. Uh, Coach Kogan's going to wrap us. Going to wrap around. He's going to finish round four, and he's going to start round five. Uh, he is a, a, a veteran of this event for sure. Um, and after his picks, maybe we'll review the teams uh, before we go beyond that as we are halfway or nearing the halfway point in the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League 2024 Senior All-Star Draft. Welcome Coach, back, welcome Coach. back. Two picks. All right, two picks. So we're just going to we're gonna keep this uh, train rolling right here. We're going to take one of my other captains here, Luke Scapulus, defenseman. Uh, Luke had a great career with us, uh, great vision Move the pucks up, can move the puck up the ice real well. Um, solid defenseman. So not only uh, will we have some D coverage back than this little four on four, but uh, hopefully he can move that puck up the ice for us. And then my second, or yeah, my second pick here will be uh, our my other captain, Sean McDonough, forward Sean McDonough. So again, uh, sh great career for us. Um, Sean's a front of the net guy looking for some loose pucks and, and putting pucks away in front there. So tell me, did you actually think you'd be able to select all five of your guys here tonight? No, I wish I had uh, three more maybe that I could have uh, had as all-stars and that would have wrapped up my team. There you go. Well, you <laughs> got your team all together. It kind of worked out for you tonight. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're going to call it the, uh, the, the Rocky River Senior All-Star team with a, a few extra thrown in at the, in the rounds five, or six, seven, and eight for you. But congratulations. Yeah, those, yeah no, I think it'll be fun uh, one more round with these five guys playing together. And, you know, like you said, three more guys thrown in the loop. But uh, it'll, be good, it'll be good one last time on the bench with them. What do the young kids say? You're going to run it back. <laughs> That's right. There we go. Very good. Yeah, absolutely. Right, we'll, see, we'll see who Coach uh, compliments his Rocky River guys with here, uh, here in the uh, – in the in the next round, um, but all five Rocky River guys go to the Rocky River coach, which uh, which was to be expected. Um, it's uh, we don't want to we don't want to peel the curtain back too far here, but let's <laughs> just say there's some there's a gentleman's agreement, if you will, um, amongst player amongst amongst the coaches here. So, uh, Coach Lowry is going to come back up. He's got uh, right now he's got two Benedictine uh, players. He's got Ben Trombetto and Alex Rezepka, and he also has two Kenston players. Uh, Troy Cray and Tommy Moore. So um, lots of scoring and lots of great defense there. Yep. Team C is uh, very much a, a green team and very much a Strongsville team, as uh, you mentioned. So Brett Kappel and Will Grozen and Michael Galchek and then uh, Brad Sims was the fourth pick from Kent Roosevelt on uh, the Team C and then Team Redemption, which is the Sports on Tap team, Austin Andrews and Justice Owens as well as Derek Pierce and Wylan Hill, the two, uh, the two uh, players from Normandy. So there we are, halfway through the draft. Coach, welcome back. Glad to be here. Stay All right, you got to stay here. blue? You got halfway more blue picks? <laughs> no, we're going to deviate from the blue picks here. We're going to go a little closer to home with the color at least, go with the, go with the green jersey pick, and we're going to take uh, Samuel Dosa. Dosa. Dosa, yes. thank you, from Westlake. So you're going defense... Uh, yeah, actually, sorry, you're going to offense with Sam Dosa. 22 goals, 17 assists Absolutely. from Westlake. And uh, Westlake, had, as we've had a chance to already talk about tonight, had a great run in the Barron Cup in this season altogether. Yeah, very successful season for Westlake. I mean, they were, they were in it literally for the, for the last game of the year in the regular season and obviously in the, in the, in the Barron Cup too. So lots of good experience there for, uh, oh, yeah. for Dosa there. And, um, you know, Coach – as you're, as you're as you're going into your off season here, what what, what are you what are you working on, and, and what kind of what do you th what, what, with it being a little bit more you know it's, you can't tell today, but uh, you know with it starting to get a little more warmer out, what what does your off season program look like? Sure, yeah, it looked like it was going to be spring there for uh, for a couple days, and just can't make up its mind right now. But what else do you expect? So yeah, in, in our off season, obviously we want to encourage our athletes to play other sports and and uh, you know do their do their summer jobs. Make sure that they finish out the school year strong with with good GPAs. I will I will mention too we had a we had a team uh, average cum of uh, three point four five GPA this year. So proud of our of our boys and girls for for their academics as well. A lot of academic awards on ours. So finish out the year strong. Play the other sports. Do the summer jobs. Get ready and prepare for the future there. But we will of course be doing dryland workouts over the summer. We do. Uh, 
We do a summer camp that's, of course, you know, open to the open to the entire school district, down to little boys and girls, even second or third grade there to come out and skate and get some experience. And then, you know, we hope that they play pre-post as well. And I was going to ask you about that, summer. pre-post opportunities for your players. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so, so Will Fifner, again, uh, on the on the list of, of eligible senior all stars, but unfortunately not able to make it because he's uh, on a baseball trip to to get ready for that season, and of course support him 100% and all that. Uh, but he was just on the the pre post state tournament uh, champions team just just last weekend. So Saturday they played out at Gilmore. I don't know if you guys are involved with that at all, but uh, it was Team Ohio versus the Crusaders and. And Will Fifner was on the Crusaders, and, and they they won the they won the state tournament for the pre post uh, t- league, which was which was awesome. So well, really congratulations to that. him. I did see that a little bit of some tweets about that online, and uh, yeah, that's a great opportunity for him. And I think they uh, they qualify to move on. Do they not? I believe they, they, they yeah. qualify to move on to nationals, which is yeah. exciting. And then uh, Will also is looking at going to Ohio University and and looking at playing in the in the club league there as well. So. You know, best best luck, best wishes for all of him. Hope to take in a couple games. And, uh, yeah, we're going to add some green to our roster on this all-star team. Well, Will's, Will's green in high school and staying green in college. Staying green. Good Perfect. for him. Thanks, right, Coach. Thanks, Coach. So the pick there, Sam Dosa from Westlake. A very, very good player there for Westlake. 22 goals, 17 assists, 39 points overall. I mean, for, for a very, very good Westlake Demons team. Yep, absolutely. So congrats to him. All right. We have Coach Grawl. He's looking to he's looking to add to the Strongsville crew that he's got, and uh, also with Brad Sims from Kent. So it is behind camera. There is a war room going on back there. Yeah, there is there, it, stuff it, spread out. <laughs> lots of candles over there. Yes. All right, Coach. Welcome back. All right. So um, I'm going to keep it in uh, keep it in the uh, in the White North Division, and I'm going to go with. Uh, Dylan, and I just I lost the name, so I'm going with North, um, our arrival North Olmsted. We've always had great games with them. So Dylan Gerardo, I'm selecting him. Um, I've uh, talked to uh, uh, Ben Palacco, their head coach, uh, is actually a uh, a 2005 Strongsville grad, and um, 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 besides Tim Murphy who's been around hockey pretty much forever. The other assistant coach, Corbin Gold, he's an, he's an 09 graduate from Strongzo. So we've got close ties with them and, and uh, have had many of conversations in that. And um, um, they're both, uh, br- uh, both Ben and uh, Corbin have raved about uh, uh, Dylan and that. And so um, I told them if I got the opportunity, I would put them on our team and uh, – um, so there's some strong little ties there. So. Keep there it go. in the family. Yeah, keep it in the family. Hockey yeah. is a close-knit uh, sport. Very much so. And so uh, congratulations to them, and congratulations to those strong little ties. That's right. Keep it. Uh, he's a man of his word. Absolutely. He's a man of his word. Um, as you mentioned, yeah, it is a very, it is a very, it is a, this is a very tight-knit community, which, uh, which, we've come to real, which we've come to learn over the years of us broadcasting this and Obviously, you've you've been involved with this a lot longer than we have, but you you just see the you see a lot of the synergy here where they where they play for the club school, for their club and then they play for their high school and um, you know just the various opportunities they all have to play against and or with each other. Absolutely. So, Dylan Geraldo, pick number five for Coach Grawl and Team C. We'll see him on Friday afternoon. All right, Team uh, Redemption has two picks coming up here. They are going to wrap up the fifth round and start the sixth round. And Josh is uh, making a – he's bolting up here. I was going to say a beeline. Well, we've had vigorous scouting uh, coming into this once we found out we had to pick. Um, we're going to try to and go with the, the same profile we went with last year. We went very heavy on the Stowe Monroe Falls Bulldogs. We're going to do the same thing this year. Back-to-back picks, we're going to pick uh, Alicio Simpson from Stowe Monroe Falls forward. Uh, 31 points, uh, 18 goals, 13 assists, and we're going to pick his teammate uh, on de- defense, Mason Shelian. Mason Shalene. Shalene, yes. Thank you. Thanks, guys, for the correction. Uh, Mason, sorry about that. Um, he also had 30 points on the year, 14 goals, uh, 16 assists from uh, the defense. So looking forward to that, adding some depth to uh, team redemption. A couple of good picks right there. Alessio Simpson, uh, certainly a goal scorer. And Mason Shaleen knows how to find the back of the net and certainly uh, a physical player 
uh, he will bring uh, that physicality uh, even in an all-star game, I, ex I expect, on uh, Friday afternoon. No doubt. He's a big body, um, and he, but he skates very well. Uh, he, he's, he's quite the presence on the ice. And we we got to see that in action two years two years ago in the in the Baron Cup two uh, the Baron Cup two championship uh, against a very very good Western Reserve team that really wasn't going to be denied that year right um, but uh, but still gave them all they can handle so the two Stowe players uh, as 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 Josh said uh, certainly eighteen goals and fourteen goals each both over thirty points um, and certainly uh, as we mentioned Mason Mason Shaleen, uh with that physicality um, he'll be a uh, 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 a presence on the ice on Friday, just like he is any other time he's out there. So congratulations to both of them. All right, Coach, cool. welcome back. Yeah. Um, so uh, we like keeping teammates together. And I'm going to go with um, Dylan Nari from North Olmstead. Both, um, um, both forwards coming, uh, coming to my team, forwards, I think six goals. But what I really like is the 20 assists. And again... Um, as I told Ben and Corbin, you know, if I got the opportunity, I try to keep those guys together. And uh, so we're going to put, put those guys together and see what they can do. And, you know, it's really nice. The senior all-star game, it's, you know, it's their kind of last hurrah. You get to play with guys, you know, that you competed with, all, you know, on end. And Strong Zone North Rome said we've had our rivalry games over the years. <laughs> and that they've always been interesting, um, always been fun. Um, so, but it's nice to, uh, to be able to have, uh, you know, some um, teams that we were competed against, um, had rivals with, and now those um, guys get to, you know, be in the same locker room and share some stories and, and that. And just, again, it's, it's, it's special, you know, as, as a senior to get an opportunity to play. And, um, you know, it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be a joy. It'll be a joy coaching this team. It is cliche, but uh, often it's said at this level, nobody's going pro. And so that opportunity to lace them up in a competitive environment one final time in some cases, uh, probably in many cases on Friday afternoon for, for a lot of these guys, uh, is special. Uh, and uh, to be able to keep the teammates together, um, as you said, uh, just a, a great opportunity. So yep. good pick. Yep. Welcome to the team, Dylan. Very good. All right. Yeah, the, so the, the North Olmstead guys, I mean, two, 23 points for Toronto and uh, 26 for Nyari. Um, you know, for, for a very game North Olmstead team um, that uh, you know, the coach knows very well from his ties to Stronsville. So um, a lot of Stronsville influence on there, which is uh, absolutely zero surprise um, yeah. when, when, you get, when you get into an environment like this and you have the opportunity to, to do that. Color me not shocked, right? <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, Lowry coach. is back. Welcome back. What do we got? We're back. Pick number six. Yeah. I'm excited about this team. I'm excited about this game. I think it's going to be a great time. Happy to be part of it there. And I'm going to pick another one with a, a team, of course, that we had uh, some divisional games and some close games with over the season. So tra trade it off with this, team, with this team throughout the season. Um, we're taking Mr. Christian Harrison. From? From Westlake. From Westlake. Wearing the green. Ah, uh, yes, Christian Harrison. So Christian Harrison, defenseman from Westlake. That's correct. Um, has a sister on the team, uh, brother-sister combination. Uh, Christian, just another outstanding defenseman, played extremely well uh, in the, the Barron Cup and all season for that matter. Um, a, a really good pick. And uh, another green pick. That's what I'm saying. Another, <laughs> another green jersey. There we go. Take around with that. Yep. Thank you. Very good. All right, Coach Lowry adds a little bit more green. He's got two Westlake Demons on there with Sam Dosa and Christian Harrison to go along with the, the pair of Benedict and Bengals with uh, Alex Rezepka and Ben Trombetto and then the two Bombers and Tommy Moores and Troy Cray. So he's got quite the team uh, that he's uh, stacking up here. He is, he is. So Christian, six goals and six assists, but just really solid defenseman. Um, that was his job. Uh, and, uh, yeah, again, another player who knows right where he needs to be on the ice uh, at any given time, uh, and led that Westlake team to just the, the precipice of a Baron Cup championship uh, and a divisional championship in the Blue North Division this year. So, Coach Kogan is going to pop back up here. He's going to wrap up round six and start round seven. Welcome back, Coach. All right, here we go. All right, so there's no more Rocky River on the board, I don't think. There is not. Uh, I was thinking maybe I could get Christian Harrison, who was a Rocky River youth hockey player, but... It just went, just, uh, just went off the board. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. So, so talk about Christian. You know yeah. him? 
I just saw I've seen him, you know, growing up in the youth program. So yeah, you know, good player. So, but let's talk about that for a minute. So, uh, well, we have a moment from the youth hockey opportunities in Northeast Ohio, right up through high school and onto a senior All Star game. You see development happening. So, you know, get out to play efforts uh, in your local community. You know, how do you encourage folks in in Rocky River and, and you're on the west side uh, to find hockey opportunities? Well, I mean, you know, we're fortunate enough to have a rink in our own city. So, right. um, but nowadays, un- unfortunately for me, uh, our, our program has flipped more non-resident resident. Um, but, you know, it's just good to see the kids just filtering in- into any rink at this point, just, you know, and, and keeping the sport alive. Uh, from even from when I played high school hockey, small amount of teams, I, I think there's only probably like 14 teams to 47 now, you know what I mean? So it's mm-hmm. good to see just kids continuing to play. And, and I like seeing our youth program, our mini, our might program, and our beginner hockey. There's like 60 kids in that program. So it's just, uh, like I said, it's awesome to see so many little kids out there and hope that they continue to push along and, and finish, you know, and go all the way through high school. Absolutely. All right, so you got a couple of picks coming up. Yeah, so my next pick here is going to be uh, Jason Heine from Olmstead Falls. Uh Division player, obviously we played against Homestead Falls a few times this year. Uh, he could put the puck in the net. Uh, got got some good stats there. What do you, I think thirteen and twelve, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Um, so yeah, you know I, I've seen him play and I know what he's capable of. So uh, that'll be my next forward. And then as far as uh, my next pick here, I'm going to go with uh, defenseman from where am I at here? From Chagrin Falls. Aiden Kabik, I believe. Aiden Kabik, yep. And, uh, again, I, n- I haven't seen him play, but a uh, good point, good line of points here, 17 goals and 30 assists on the year. So thinking he can help the team here. Well, I have seen Aiden Kabik play a lot over the years. Um, that Chagrin Falls team was one with just eight players, uh, eight skaters on the team this year, and Aiden hardly ever left the ice. I think you've made a great pick there. He'll fit in really well with that great. team. Great. I'd like to hear that. There yeah. we go. Help my winning percentage, you know. There you go. Got to. Away. Got to. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. So Jason Heine from Olmstead Falls and Aiden Kabik from Chagrin Falls, a couple of falls on opposite ends of the Cleveland. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, you have a very heavy west side influence on this team. Now you bring an east sider over there. Right. Um, he kind of reminds me of uh, Coach Babcox when he was, uh, when he was, when he was coaching uh, and picking with us. I and mean, he, he went pretty much all east side. Yep. Uh, which, I mean, similar to Coach Kogan. You go with who you know, right? Correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, Coach Lowry, he's got so his Coach, uh, seventh pick coming you've up You've seen here. Aiden Kabik. Seen Aiden quite a bit. Yes. Absolutely. Coached Aiden before. He's a great kid. And had a, he had a great season uh, for his senior year there, too. Absolutely. Uh, clocked All right. Points. But he is off the board. So off who the you, board, unfortunately. Who are you picking as the seventh pick? Uh, the next pick for me that is also a, a player that I, that I know fairly well and I've seen uh, grow up over the last couple of years and – uh, around the pond, around uh, Gilmore Academy rink, uh, playing in Sunday morning pickups with, uh, you know, men twice his age and, and holding in there, of course, scoring a lot of goals, uh, making a big impact on his team. We're in blue, so we'll cycle back to the blue here. We're going to take Ben Carrier from Solon. Ben Carrier from Solon. Yep, the, that- the next pick, the Solon Comets had a huge rebound year. Uh, I believe they went winless a year ago, which is kind of astounding for that Solon program. Turned it around all the way to win a game in the Barron Cup, and Ben Carrier, the senior, to lead them uh, to that uh, in the Barron Cup Blue Division. So another good pick. Yeah, absolutely. They had had a great season this year and uh, brought in a lot of young players, uh, put together a put together good strategy, put together a good uh, a good offense there. Um, absolutely played well. Have a, had a goalie that had a standout year. Made a lot of saves. They've got a, a, a well, a, they're rising sophomores now, but a trio of freshmen I think came in to really turn that program around. So you've got some work cut out for you at, at Aurora the next couple of years. Absolutely, looking but, forward to some more exciting uh, nail biters probably with with Solon over the years. But Ben Carrier, a great pick as a senior leader at Solon. Yeah, uh, he'll make a great. Uh, impact on your team congratulations I'm, I'm sure he will thank you very good that's ben carrier from solon ben carrier uh very very good season he had 23 points in 19 games played so when, whenever you're whenever you're averaging more than a point a game it's usually a pretty good sign there Doing all right absolutely all right seventh pick coming up for coach crawl and the baron cup two champion the Stronsville mustangs coach crawl gonna come back up here and he's uh 
can't say that enough, right? Yeah, I, if you were from I, Strongsville, I don't think he Baron be, Cup champions. You can't hear that enough either, right? <laughs> That's right. I mean, got that right. There we go. He's, yeah, he, I'm he, struggling he over here. So he the bringing the candle. This, this, is, this is what we've been doing over there. Us, us, us <laughs> old guys have been doing this for a long time. Um, yeah. So, well, the. Um, I got you, coach. Yeah, here, I got you. So, uh, <laughs> so an, another coach that I know, Rick Santelli from Nordonia. Mm. Um, 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 talking through him throughout the year. Um, uh, he's got uh, he's got a senior all star uh, that I said you know if I get an opportunity um, pick up so uh, see I got to use this light here um, yeah so Jacob Wait uh, twenty two goals twenty assists well, forty two be... about that forty forty two points and all that so um, Nordonia is in the black and orange if I recall their colors so is North Olmstead so I'm gonna put. Keep the green. colors together. Green. green. Yeah, yeah the green. green. Green and black oh, okay. and white. Green black. and orange. Irish. Hey, it's St. Patrick's Day yesterday. There you go. Oh, That's right. It's got, so it's got, green Irish. like Strongsville. All right, huh? so we're going. Green like Strongsville. Green like Strongsville. That's so true, too. That's true, Jacob too. Waite, another good player in yep. the blue division, um, yep. led the Nordonia team. Nordonia had a you know, over under Jacob Waite's uh, four years in high school. I think they won the division two or three years um, Blue South Division uh, yep. perennial team, yep. but uh, he's been one of the stars of that team, and uh, again, he'll fit in with the green and uh, yep. certainly have an opportunity to play on Friday in the All-Star game. Yep. Welcome Very to good. the team. Very good. Jacob Waite joining the team, uh, joining the team of the strong, uh, a strong, wow, well, okay, a strong Strongsville influence. I couldn't have made that up any better, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness, uh, the uh, Department amazing. of the Office of Redundancy, that is something that I do a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a strong Strongsville influence, yes. I like it, though. It's always, a joke when like you, it. it's, it's always like when you end a sentence and then start the next sentence with the, fir- with the same word as you ended one. Because I, I did that in an email today. I'm like, is there a better way I can write this? I'm like, no, there's not. I'm just going to go with it. I'm mm. glad they haven't replaced it. The email or us with AI at this point. Yeah, I right? know, yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> just had Chet GPT do that for me. Yep. All right. Final two picks for Team Redemption. Team Redemption, yes, very much. Looking to redeem itself. Uh, one of our picks is going to be Dominic Mister from Twinsburg. Uh, really good season by him. 26 goals, 13 assists. Um, looking forward to having him join the squad. Again, let me clarify, Sports on Tap will not be coaching. Uh, no. There is a coach no, we are uh, not. yet to be determined. Um, but we can uh, <laughs> maybe put that in my contract if need be. Um, the <laughs> the uh, final pick for Team Redemption uh, is going to be Marcus Epp from Canfield. Uh, 11 goals this year, 14 assists. I think he's going to be uh, a well-added uh, feature to the team. He's going to round out the team very nicely. So Dominic Mister, not only a, a good season, a great career at Twinsburg. Twinsburg uh, out of the Blue South. And Dominic Mister has been a, a, a skater that can find the open ice and put it in the back of the net just about any time he wants to or he gets an opportunity to um, certainly carry the Twinsburg program and, and has been the face, in my mind, of the Twinsburg program for the last three years at least. Uh, certainly a good addition to that team. Yeah, in adding him, uh, the player of his caliber, to some of the players that you know, that are from the Red Division, I'm looking real forward to seeing how that how those teams are going to match. I think you guys had a, a Twinsburg Brooklyn game at uh, uh, at Brooklyn maybe a year ago. Yeah, it was. And it uh, was. So Dominic Mister would have played in that game, and then Marcus Epp. Um, you know, the Canfield program is probably the furthest away from the the base of uh, the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League, uh, but they've kept it going. Um, this was a transition year for mm-hmm. Canfield. Um, they were they're only a couple years removed from playing for the Baron Cup uh, three championship, um, and uh, you know Marcus Epp, uh, certainly one of the uh, uh, the nuts and bolts players for the Canfield program. And uh, congratulations to him. Look forward to seeing him here in Northeast Ohio at, at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse on Friday. All right, coach. all right, coach. Here you go. All right, so Owen Tyndale, you're going to join your teammate Jacob Waite, play together one more time. So I have the two, um, the two forwards from uh, Nordonia and the two forwards from North Olmsted playing together. And, um, again, like I said before, teammates, um, 
you know, it's a special moment for these guys, and uh, I'm sure they're going to um, in- enjoy this uh, at least final high school opportunity before they move on to their next adventure in life. So, Owen Tyndale. Yeah, quite a yeah, solid team here, Coach. Uh, real good compliments to the Stronsville, to the Stronsville players. Uh, you know, a heavy Stronsville influence, obviously. And yep. as you mentioned, being able to keep teammates together for for for, for, uh, for our last game is that's just what, that's what this is about. You know, so um, it's it's going to be a joy. Um, I enjoy coming back every year to do this when when Ryan asks me, and um, so you know, it's it's a fun evening in that. So uh, this year on the bench, I'll have my son with me for the first time. So that'll 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 be we'll we'll, we'll have some fun. It'll be special. Excellent. Yeah. It'll be special. We'll I'll look forward to seeing you on Friday. All right, see you guys. Thanks, Thanks coach. Thanks, coach. Baron Cup two champion, coach. And I think this Troy might be Grawl. the final pick. I believe we had thirty one skaters. Unless I, I am think you're right. missing form. So uh have team A may be just be skating with seven. Yeah. Yeah, then we have one more we have one more. So coach Lowry. All right, coach. Who you got left? Excited about my next pick. It's going to be a player from uh, another team that I that I see around the rink fairly, fairly often. And practice in front of us, practice after us, play the games around the the, the world famous nine o'clock on Friday <laughs> starts out at the pond that we all know and love. I'm going to take Mr. Brandon Lurie from Orange. Brandon Lurie from Orange, the Orange Lions, and uh, he's the representative from that team. That's correct. Tell us about him. <laughs> Exciting player to watch. I think he's going to tally some points for us in this uh, in this All Star game. I'm sure that's going to be a, a nice addition. I'm going to shuffle him up on the ice and see who plays well together. But uh, ex- I'm exciting. I'm expecting a lot of exciting plays to come from this. Excellent. Hey, hey coach, you, you mentioned uh, you, you have to mention some of your seniors. Um, you know, who, who are some of the players you have coming back uh, that you're looking forward to seeing continue their development through the Aurora program? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got. Um, we got a, a number of returning players. We, we're fairly balanced between the years, so um, four, five, or six players in each age group, which which was nice to have balance that you don't have uh, 12 players in in one uh, year. <laughs> um, but yeah, absolutely. Our, we got a we got a returner who's a junior this year, going to come back as a senior next year um, in Brody Markle, and and he's going to be a, a big cornerstone of our team. Uh, a big guy on defense, knows how to score, can take the clappers from the blue line and, and uh, shots with eyes that make it to the back of the net, but he can also get in close in the blue paint and, uh, and, and go you know, post to post and put it in. So definitely excited to see what Brody Markle brings in his, in his senior year. And then we've got another, Brody Markle's also an all-star on this list here. We've got another all-star in a younger guy, going to be uh, returning as a junior, sophomore this year, our, our starting goaltender, Max Stefano. So he's an exciting player to watch, quick, smart, makes a lot of plays, uh, defended the net, defended the crease against uh, some, you know, a good number of, of breakaways and, and odd man rushes this year. Excited to see him. And then, of course, we've got some young kind of true freshmen too, so... Um, Johnny Janzig is going to be an exciting player to watch over the next couple years. You've got Max Schechterman is going to be an exciting player to watch over the next couple years. Um, young guy who joined the team and is uh, kind of picking up hockey, kind of new to hockey, but but came in with a ton of skill is, is Robert Zamory. So wouldn't be surprised if you heard his name around uh, around the live streams and around the Baron Cup in the future years too. So really excited about the future of the team and, and of course, whoever whoever comes to join us in the fall. It's amazing to see how that physical development happens from freshman year to senior year. Absolutely. Those guys, if they have talent, they just get bigger and better. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, they take off like a wildfire. It's great. Well, we're good. Thanks again for uh, coming out tonight. We look forward to seeing you on Friday. Thank you, gentlemen. I'll see you then. Thanks, Coach. All right. All right, and that does it for the skaters here uh, for, uh, for all of our respective teams. Now, the two goalies are uh, Vincenzo um, uh, Bacardi from Westlake, uh, four shutouts. Um, just a, a tremendous player for Westlake and a, and a junior uh, made the list here. Ryan Wilkinson from Menor, who we have seen multiple times, uh, one of the best goalkeepers that I've seen, um, just stands on his head. Uh, it is not easy to get a shot past uh, Ryan Wilkinson. He, uh, due, to the, due to the kind of the lack of goalies on the list for seniors, Ryan was able to, got bumped up and, uh, and has taken the assignment here. So, uh, they are going We're going to be... call him a rising senior. Yes, yes, absolutely. Senior oh. in waiting. 
And um, then Vinny Bicardi, Vincenzo, as I remember the chants uh, behind us uh, in the Baron Cup, had a, a cheering section. We'll expect to see some more of those folks from, from Westlake out cheering for Vinny on Friday as he represents Westlake in between the pipes uh, in the All-Star game. And uh, these two players are going to be playing for both for two teams, so uh, they haven't quite decided what those two teams are going to be. I think that may uh, – that may. I don't know if they're going to make that decision tonight, um, but uh, either way, they're going to be on the ice the entire time. Um, they may switch it up. Who knows? Um, <laughs> I mean, with it being a senior All-Star game, um, I, you know – it's it's obviously a competitive environment, but ultimately at the end of the day, it's it's a fun experience. Again, as you mentioned, a lot, for a lot of these players, it'll be the last time they lace them yep. up. Um, some get to play with their teammates again, play for their coaches, and then um, maybe play as teammates. Uh, it's it's a really really special event. Good, absolutely. So I'm sure there are folks out there that may be interested in, in how they can maybe attend if they're give you they have a teammate on the team or a, a player on the team on Friday. Uh, certainly, they can watch on Sports on Tap, and we'll tell them about that. Yes. And should we have Ryan back up here to tell folks how they can uh, maybe gain entry to Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse on Friday? Yeah, CFL Presidente can uh, pop back up here. And uh, as, as Tim mentioned, uh, those of you who are not able to attend live, uh, you are able to watch us on the stream. Uh, we will be streaming that. Uh, we'll be streaming all the, all the action on our uh, YouTube channel, Sports on Tap, which you can also find at sportsontappodcast.com. Um, and we'll be, you know, on our Twitter is at uh, at SOT Podcast, and of course our Facebook is Sports on Tap. Uh, let's bring. Uh, We're going to oh. put them on the spot. So Ryan, we just had the draft. We get some good teams. We were talking amongst ourselves about, you know, if you've got a a player on the uh, on the All Star team, how do you get into Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse on Friday? I'm sure that information has gone out, but since we're great, here, great question. I mean, besides the, the awesome coverage we're going to have, if you want to see it in person, all you need to do is have a ticket to the the actual Monsters game that night. So, and if you know somebody that's participating, or even if you just want to shoot um, uh, myself or, or any of the coach an email, we can get you a pretty good discounted rate for a ticket. Um, I believe. We can get like a twelve or fifteen dollar ticket, and that gets you into the All Star game and that night. And I heard it's um, Monsters Truckers Hat night too. So ah, there we go. But they've had some great crowds going on. Um, so it should be uh, should be a fun Friday night down at the down at the Rocket Mortgage. Uh, Absolutely, and it's a fun environment. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a major league it's a major league arena that oh, these yeah. that these players get to play in. Yeah, it's it's great entertainment. I mean, for the whole family. Like I said, the tickets are pretty cheap, but uh, I know any, if you contact any player or coach, they have a, a password or a link that can get you. I think it's 12 to $15 tickets. If you're still struggling, you can email the league. I'll send something out to you guys, but um, tickets are definitely available right now. So we're going to encourage folks to go through their coaching staff to start with. Um, but Friday, the games will take place at 3.30. They'll start at 3.30, so you've got to get there a little bit earlier to get in. Um, and uh, 3.30 to 5.30, a couple hours of ice time, four games. Mm-hmm. Back to back to back to back, and uh, one champion will come out of it on uh, Friday afternoon, and then the Monsters game will be after that, I believe, seven o'clock. Yeah, and, and there's enough. There's a little break too, or if you didn't want to leave the the arena and go grab something to eat, they let you come back in with your ticket. So it's a uh, it's a fun night, definitely. Absolutely, even better, even better. And, and, and the Monsters are having a, just a great year as well. So I mean, you're, not only can you watch a tremendous uh, high school hockey, you can watch a, a winning AHL team at that. Absolutely. You mentioned Major League Experience. We uh, were on vacation earlier this year uh, in Arizona and caught the Coyotes. And uh, just mind-boggling the difference that we have here in Cleveland at an AHL level versus an NHL arena there. Uh, it is the best experience you could possibly have at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. And so come on down on Friday. Friday afternoon if you've got the afternoon off. If you can't, certainly tune into Sports on Tap. And then Friday night for the Monsters game to follow. Very good. All right, well, uh, we appreciate it, Ryan. Uh, we uh, we are uh, we're gonna we'll go we'll recap the teams real quick before we officially uh, before we officially sign off here. But thanks again Sounds for setting good. this hey, up. And thank you everything. guys again for your continued coverage, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you guys Friday. Great, very good. As Ryan Kelber, the president and executive director of the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League, um, just a tremendous uh, tremendous resource that we've had over the years. Uh, in order to uh, to do what we do, um, and he's certainly benefited us at Sports on Tap, and also you at uh, CVCA live stream. We're all in it together to make hockey even more popular and uh, exciting. So, 
Let's run down. We'll run down the teams here real quick. I'll start with uh, Coach Kogan. If you will, maybe we'll just go every other here. Absolutely. So, uh, Coach Kogan, uh, again, from Rocky River, has a very heavy Rocky River influence. So he's going to start off with Lucas Updike. Uh, then he went with uh, Jacob Jackson, A.J. Ritvo, Lucas, Luke Scapulis, and Sean McDonough. Those are his five Rocky River guys. Go All go in the first five picks, which was really no uh, no surprise there, but... Uh, when you have a team as, as like that, you, you need to do that. Jason Heine from Olmsted Falls compliments them. Uh, he's got uh, Aiden uh, Kabik from Chagrin Falls. And then uh, that was it. That was his last skater uh, for the game. So five, five players from Rocky River, one from Olmsted Falls, and one from Chagrin. All right, Team B, which is coached by Coach Lowry from Aurora, will have Troy Cray from Kenston, and a pair of Benedictine Bengals, Alex Rebska, I uh, hope we got that name right. And Ben Trombetto. <laughs> uh, Tommy Moore is also from Kenston on defense. Sam Dosa from Westlake, as well as Christian Harrison, also from Westlake. And then Ben Carrier from Solon and Brandon Lurie from the Orange Lions. Lots of great players there. Yep. Uh, that's going to be a very, very competitive team uh, for uh, for Coach Lowry there. For uh, Coach Grawl, the uh, Baron Cup 2 uh, champion, Stronzel Mustangs, he stays with a, with a Stronzel influence there. Uh, Brent Kappel, uh, Will Grozen, and Michael Galchik, all from Strawsville. He took uh, Brad Sims from Kent Roosevelt. Then he, uh, he's he got some former players that are on the coaching staff of North Olmstead. So he took uh, Dylan Gerardo and David Nyari from North Olmstead. And then uh, he wrapped up with a couple of teammates from Nordonia and Jacob Waite and Owen Tyndall. And Team Sports on Tap or Team Redemption, uh, Team D, uh, Austin Andrews was the initial pick from that team or for that team from Mentor, and then Justice Owens um, and Derek Pearson, Wyland Hill from Normandy, and then Alessio Simpson from Stowe, and another Stowe player, Mason Shaleen, and then uh, it was rounded out by Dominic Mister from Twinsburg and Marcus Epp from Canfield. Of course, uh, and uh, again, uh, uh, Vinny, uh, Vinny Bacardi and Ryan Wilkinson are the two goalies. Uh, Vinny from Westlake, Ryan from Mentor. They're going to be bo- they're going to be pulling quadruple duty. Uh, they're playing all four games, uh, helping out both teams there. So uh, we don't know how exactly that ar- exactly that arrangement is going to uh, sort out yet, but. Uh, that's the, that's the fun part of it. Tune he's, in Friday to got, find out, right? That's how, that's what you gotta do. Either uh, again, either uh, if you do want to attend the event live, make sure you get with your uh, with a player or, or a coaching staff uh, to get a link to a code uh, for discounted tickets to see one of the best AHL teams in the land right now. Uh, it's a, just a tremendous atmosphere. Um, you, it, you can't go wrong. Uh, it's an affordable family atmosphere uh, for one of the best teams in uh, in, in the in the AHL. Uh, and then, of course, we will be we will we will be carrying this live on our Sports on Tap YouTube page. Make sure you follow us on Sports on Tap. Hit the like and subscription button. Get those notifications when we are about to go live onto the air. Uh, you can also watch us. Uh, it, we're also at Sports on Tap uh, Podcast dot com. Follow us on Facebook at Sports on Tap. We're also on Twitter at SOT Podcast. We're on Threads at SOT underscore Podcast as well. Um, and. Uh, it, it's just, it's going to be a tremendous event. Uh, puck drops at 3:30, and it's going to be fast and furious throughout. Uh, we would be remiss again if uh, you know Tim. Thank you. Thanks again from CVC Livestream. Um, you know, throw some throw, throw some pub out for uh, CVC Livestream here. Yeah, CVC Livestream is available for a football and hockey broadcast throughout the uh, course of the year on uh, YouTube at CVC Livestream and across social media by the, uh, looking for that same handle on. Uh, uh, Twitter or X now, Facebook, uh, Instagram at CVCA Livestream, and uh, you know it's been our pleasure, my pleasure, to to sit in with you guys and uh, and and talk about hockey for a, a good part of the last part of the season. So uh, it's always fun to team up. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a really really good partnership with us and uh, CVCA Livestream. Again, thanks goes to Ryan Kelber for for uh, for for working it out and getting us together here. A uh, big thank you to the market in Rocky River for hosting us tonight. Uh, we, we couldn't be we couldn't be happier to be here. It's just a tremendous room here, um, uh, just a great ma- great atmosphere. Uh, we want to thank uh, we want to thank the Cleveland Monsters and Rock and Warriors Fieldhouse for the for the event that's coming up this coming Friday as well. And we want to thank you uh, for watching us and uh, and 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 keeping us uh, keeping us going here. Uh, this is a great uh, this is a great event that we're that we're really really happy to bring. Um, the hockey league has just been fantastic. 
Um, and we look forward to seeing, uh, you know, after this event, we'll take a little bit of a break from hockey, and uh, we'll be back in November, December uh, uh, with, uh, with the 2024-2025 season of the Greater Cleveland High School Hockey League. All right, uh, let's get through our sponsors here, and we'll wrap it up here. Uh, this has been brought to you by Ray Felton State Farm Insurance. For a good auto, home, or life insurance quote, make sure you give them a call at 234-284-2996 or uh, check them out at rayfelton.com. He is located in beautiful Hudson, Ohio. RRT Productions, we shoot, we edit, you win. If you want the best in audiovisual needs, check them out at www.rrt-productions.com. Hand-built leather goods. Uh, if you need a good uh, anything you need made out of leather, uh, it does not get any better than hand-built leather goods. Check them out at handbuiltleather.com. And uh, last and certainly not least, Troutland Entertainment. If you want a great DJ or uh, any, any event that you want more fun at, give this guy a call at 330-414-4261. Here's a sticker. Actually, he gave me to shamelessly pedal throughout, the, uh, throughout there. So uh, got you there, Jeff. Uh, send him a note at uh, troutlandent at gmail.com. For, uh, for Chris Kogan, the head coach of Rocky River, for Troy Grawl, the head coach of the Baron Cup 2 champion, Stronsville Mustangs, for uh, Joe Lowry, the head coach of Aurora, of course, Ryan Kelber, uh, for Tim Nichols, Josh Jeffy, Rob Trauman, Jeff Trauman, Sean Duffy, Noah Jacobson. My name is Ed Dick. This has been uh, Sports on Tap's coverage of the 2024 Greater Cleveland High School League uh, senior All-Star Draft. This is Sports on Tap, and we will see you on the other side.